hi everyone so uh, one important topic which you should not leave for the current attempt i mean tomorrow's may 2024 is tap's optimum portfolio proportions concept just it's a procedure only if you understand the procedure also you can do the answer but still i just wanted to give you a overview of how this problem has to be solved if the sharps optimum portfolio proportion question came in exam okay see there first they will give you multiple securities in the question like this their rf will be given their returns also will be given anyway rf will be same okay rf will be same first what we have to do what we need to do is whenever sharps portfolio proportion question came in exam so whenever sharps portfolio question came in exam you should understand that we need to select two securities out of a group of securities if you remember uh, in revision also just tested i told you one point what is that point i said to you if r equal to minus one by injecting two securities into the portfolio in a particular proportions can reduce the risk to zero level formula is px equal to sigma y by sigma x plus sigma y if it is r other than minus one you have to use the formula variance of y minus covariance of x y divided by variance of x plus variance of y minus two covariance of x y formula we have seen correct or not so this formula we have used to calculate the px value py will be one minus px in this concept also same thing we are going to do but in a more perfection will be coming more accuracy will be there in calculating the sharps optimum portfolio proportions okay first listen carefully how this problem has to be solved focus on the steps properly number one calculate the reward to volatility ratio for all the five securities or six or seven or eight whatever the number of securities you give in the question first what we need to do reward to volatility ratio what do you mean reward to volatility ratio whatever your company gives a security rs whatever the risk free security rf divided by beta five securities are given five securities ki rs will be given rf will be given beta will be given just to calculate the reward to volatility ratio okay once reward to volatility ratio is given always remember higher the volatility number better will be the security that's a obvious answer therefore what we need to do when higher these better higher volatility security higher volatility ratio is better automatically put them in a ascend uh, sorry descending order when you put in descending order what will happen higher will come first lower will come down so arrange them in a descending order next calculate the cutoff point cutoff point has a formula i will show you what it is okay and identify the securities to be invested calculation of zj i will tell you what it is lastly calculate the portfolio proportion first three two steps are easy to understand three steps the formula will be involved just remember that formula put the numbers you will get the answer five minutes now we are going to complete see the screen first cut off point formula market variance into first one market variance into summation of okay rs or ri anything okay into beta divided by unsystematic risk means systematic risk to the unsystematic risk beta is a measure of systematic risk e square is a measure of uh, unsystematic risk okay that means a total volatility la what is the portion of systematic risk to unsystematic risk divided by 1 plus m square means market variance into sigma beta square by sigma e square you have to remember this formula once you remember this formula just you need to put the numbers in this and calculate it okay first easy to understand shall i tell you do in a stepwise format it will be easy for you, you will not commit mistakes in exam okay see here first reward to volatility ratio six securities are given their returns are given rf is given rs minus rf beta divided by beta this is the reward to volatility ratio descending order you put i put in a descending order a b c d e f this is how the ranking is given one three five four six two like that they have got the ranking so first ranking goes to what a 
Next ranking goes to what? F. Like that order we have to put. Okay. Once you put it in the order, now we will calculate the cutoff point. Here. What is the order? I am writing here. A, F, B, D, C, E. A, F, B, D, C, E. A, F, B, D, C, E. Okay. First, what we need to do? First, let us calculate this part. Okay. R i minus R f means R s minus R f the security. R s minus R f into beta by e square. R s minus R f already we calculated here 8. 8 into beta already given 1.5. 1.5. Market variance already given in the question. Okay. Sigma e i square of the individual securities they will give in the question. So they divide it. We got this value. Okay. We got this value. Now the question, we in the formula, sigma is there, means what? We have to summation of that. So therefore, summation will be calculated. Cumulatively, we will calculate 1.6, last one. Next, then we completed calculation of this part of the formula. Correct? Next, beta square sigma ea square is the second part. Beta already given, ea square also given in the question, just divide it. Next, again, you have to accumulate them. Yeah, again, you have to accumulate them. So, finally, the CJ calculation. Okay, CJ calculation. What is the CJ calculation? Sigma M square into all these things you have to calculate. Na? All the total calculation put together, you will get 1.923, 2.814, 2.6682, 2 2.5, 2.165, 2.047. Okay, you may ask a question now. Sir, how you got this answer directly, sir? First, see here. Observation required, please. First, this part you have to calculate. This part is already available. This and this they will give in the question. Just you need to multiply them. Put it in a column. Cumulate them. Later, this also you calculate. Cumulate them. Later, this part of calculations are completed now. This they will give in the question. This also they will give in the question. Working notes we have to do. Like this. C A. A F B D C A. That is the sequence now. Uh, market variance is how much? 10. So M square is 10. And we got the answer as 0.3. If you observe here. 0.3. 0.3 of this particular security divided by divided by what is it 1 plus 1 plus sigma m square 1 plus sigma m square 10 sigma of beta square by e square beta square by e square sigma is how much 0 0.056 like this we have to put the formula we got the numbers cutoff point means returns will increase like this Okay, reward to volatility returns will increase like this. Okay, they will go like this and they will take a downward turn. Am I clear? They will go like this and they will take a downward turn. 1.293, sorry, 1.923. Next, 2.814. Suddenly, it came to 2.668, descending order. That means after that, everything is falling down. Therefore, we should invest in A and F only. If you invest in any security other than A and F, you will not get a better reward to risk ratio because for an increased risk, they have given increased return. In all these other cases, risk is increasing, but the volatility return is reducing. Okay. In the first case, for the risk, they have given volatility proportion of 1.923. For increased risk, they have given 2.814. For more increased risk, they have to give more than 2.814, but they have given only 2.668. Therefore, don't invest in that security. All these securities are inefficient as per sharp. You have to invest only in A and F. Second question. Sir, in exam, A, 1.923, B, 2.084, say for example, C, 2.814, D, 2.668. Then three securities are, no, invest in these two now. Okay, that's how you need to select the securities. Okay, so cutoff point means a point below that you should not invest. Okay, calculation of ZJ. ZJ formula, systematic risk as a proportion of unsystematic risk 
into RS minus RF by beta, which is called as reward to volatility ratio minus cutoff point. Minus cutoff point. We have how many securities selected? A, F. A. Beta given in the question. Sigma square given in the question. RS minus RF already calculated. Cutoff point you calculated here 2.814. This much. Okay. Next. Next one. So ZF. This is the calculation you have done for the security F. Proportion of A, proportion of F, not B. Proportion of A and proportion of F. That means this is the proportion of A in the total proportion of these two. If you add these two, you will get the total proportion. In this, A should be this much. Means how much percentage? 50.41%, 49.59%. Here in the entire thing, what every student has to remember? Steps and formula. Step number one. What is step number one? Calculate the reward to volatility ratio. Second one, arrange them in descending order. After arranging in descending order, mainly you have to do is RS minus RF or RI minus RF. RI minus RF. This part. This part. This one. RI minus RF. Take the beta. Divided by E square. You will get the values. Cumulate them. Later denominator. Beta square by sigma E square. Calculate them individually. Cumulate them. Finally, formula, cutoff point formula. So you have to do this and you will get this. Okay, a place where number is coming down from there, you should not invest. Above them, whatever the two securities are there, those two only you have to invest. That's a cutoff point. ZJ calculation is very easy. It is only systematic risk to the unsystematic risk into hmm, reward to volatility ratio minus cutoff point is the answer. For both the securities, we have to do. Okay, this is a proportion of A, this is a proportion of B. So total proportion will be 0 0.09435 plus 0 0.0928. To that what is A? 50.41. To that what is B? I am mean, what is F? 49.49. That is how the answer has to be done. Okay, properly follow this. Do it in exam. All the very best. Evening I will be coming up with business valuation theory also for you to give a boost up session. Business valuation. Okay, thank you very much. All the very best. Prepare well for the exams.